We are live tonight from the Grange Reserve NPL Victoria action as Kingston City take on South Melbourne. It's been a big weekend of uh, NPL football and it culminates tonight with perhaps the two most important matches of round 11. We're really looking forward both to this and also around the grounds updates from Bulleen Lions against Northcote City. Pitch looks in good condition on a cold night here at the Grange Reserve. The instructions of Matt Faschini at the centre of midfield for South Melbourne and Kingston have given away the ball rather cheaply here, Suleimani and they're through, through Miller yeah. South Melbourne get the early goal, it's almost a carbon copy of last time they were here at the Grange Reserve, they open the scoring in just the third minute and that is the perfect opening for the visiting team, South Melbourne 1, Kingston 0 and Matthew Miller capitalising on an errant pass at centre midfield Kingston punished to full effect Quick to go to ground, and now Oliver White can't capitalise. Both teams giving possession back and forth. Konstantinidis finds Miller, return pass, and once again, well, on this occasion, Faisal Sakizada is a judge to have committed a foul, taken quickly by South Melbourne. Fashini out to the left side, Epifano is there, whipping a cross in, and it's been tumbled in. 2 0 for South Melbourne. Thought the keeper might have had prime position there, but it's been turned into the back of the net. South Melbourne double their advantage with a couple of quick goals to start the evening. It's a disaster here at home for Kingston. And it's South Melbourne 2, Kingston 0. And by the looks of it, it's Oliver Minitel who got the all-important final touch. Here comes the set piece then. Into the near post, and the referee is pointing at the penalty spot. Well... Good luck picking out a foul from there. Brad Norton's protesting the South Melbourne skipper. And there are numerous confused South Melbourne defenders surrounding the referee. Kingston won't mind. Demir Kulash, you are a former referee. Where was the foul? I can't say I saw anything that warranted a penalty. It was quite crowded in there. So it's Tyson on the line waiting for Iaconis's penalty and he saves it. The follow-up is saved again by Tyson and Kingston missed the opportunity to peg a goal back. And now it's looped by Suleimani into the area and South Melbourne are able to clear it away. The Clarendon corner who've travelled to the Grange tonight chanting Jared Tyson's name. Uh, make a spectacular save. Now a ball through the right side. Kingston on the attack once again. Cut back. Keanu Moore. Dwyer Konis, he was knocked over, foul outside the box. Kingston get a free kick at the edge of the penalty area. Iki Jawadi, the offender on this occasion. Clumsy from Jawadi. Well, they've got no, no protests this time, I think. That would look like a clear free kick. 30 or thereabouts, we're about three minutes in front of that game. Here comes the free kick then. Sakizada hits the crossbar. Kingston luckless to this point of the night. Fantastic free kick, he bent it into the woodwork. Follow-up ball into the area, Sakizada's header. Cleared away by Konstantinidis. And now Faisal Sakizada turns the ball out to the right side. There are yeah, but, but they're, they're already guys who've had their look, if you know what I mean. Here's Iaconis, though, capitalising on an errant back pass. It's going to deflect to Sakizada, who got forward. He hooks his shot wide right. Another half chance goes begging for Kingston. The really big one. Um, <laughs> is it bad that I don't know what the really big one is? Here's Oliver White. Shot bending into the path of Iaconis, who volleyed across the face, out for a goal kick. And now Brad Norton, under the head of Dom D'Angelo. It's just a scrap, one way and another. Long ball, Oliver White trying to chase it down in the penalty area. He's out-muscled by Marshall. And now South Melbourne through Epifano, trying to break. They've got numbers running ahead of the ball. Afonso, a defensive header is shallow. It sits up for Fashini, and it's saved by Hatsakotis. Close range save. And that should perhaps have been 3-0 to South Melbourne. Yeah, I think in hindsight, Fashini would be kicking himself for not failing to guide that ball. Call from me as soon as the uh, fixtures are locked in for round seven. Might be uh, engaging his help in the uh, scissor lift department in particular. Here's a long shot off the post. Oh, Jawadi nearly scored a scorcher. Brennan? Is it Andy Brennan? Yeah. Well, that would have been a fantastic goal. Hit the inside of the post and stayed out. There's Zed. I think if you're south, he's one to definitely keep an eye Another advantage foul paid as Oliver White clattered Brad Norton. Long ball for south in the meantime. 
It's going to sit up for Andy Brennan. He's had a sight up. This one goes just wide of the top right corner. He's trying to find his bearings, Andy Brennan, and put this game beyond doubt. It's still 2-0 to South. Tid Marsh looks like he's limping a little bit. Couldn't chase the ball there as South Melbourne win it back. Brennan scoops it into the box. It'll sit up for Fashini. And he went for the bottom left corner, but sent it wide out for a goal kick. At the moment, correct me if I'm wrong, Sunshine George Cross with seven points. We see Sakizada make a forward run, controls the ball, surrounded by South defenders, tees up Iaconis, whose shot is blocked away by Marshall. Well played. Second chance for Iaconis, keeps it moving. Sammy Noor ducks outside the area. Sammy Noor, good save. Tyson down to his left and tipping it around the post for a corner. Bennett brings it down and Pavlu clears it away. Offside. Flag is up against Fashini and it's met by the final whistle. South Melbourne come to the Grange Reserve and win 2 0. Goals to Matthew Miller and Oliver Minitel got the job done. They were 2 0 up by the eight minute mark. And after... Bradley Norton, the skipper, another win this season, a very important one, our third, and uh, hopefully one that can kickstart us a bit of form run uh, going into the middle of the year. But had to do it tough, uh, good start, but they really came out of after that. Yeah, man, it's, you know, every away game's going to be tough. As we've seen this year, every game's going to be tough for us. So for us, it's just taking it one week at a time. Um, you know, we we're fortunate today, some, some um, you know, quality saves from Jared today. You know, he really kept us in the game when we, when we needed him. Um, and the boys all stuck in, you know. You know, we, we've got a squad where everyone's willing to play, you know. And, and Ollie's, you know, sort of come as a winger for us, but he's been playing up top and, you know, I think he's been doing really well. Um, even, you know, even if he's not scoring the goals, he's, he's holding play up, he's chesting the ball down to players running off him and he's doing really well. And, you know, like you said, you've, we've got some quality players out. Milosh, Lee, um, you know, these types of Shrones now coming back slowly. We've got these types of players to still come. And, you know, it's just for us, it's just getting the three points, like I said. And whoever's going to be playing is going to be playing for us. It's just that they know they've got to do a job. Jared Tyson, fantastic performance tonight, mate. Uh, everyone loves saving a penalty. You make a double save, it's pretty special. Uh, how was the adrenaline pumping for you then? Yeah, look, to be honest with you, I, I won't tell, tell you how I, I knew where he was going, but it's sort of um, when you're so sure of something, you just got to believe in yourself. And, um, and then it was just a reaction. As soon as I knew that I'd made the save, it was just turn, turn your focus to the next one and uh, managed to get a foot to that as well. So it was a, a good moment because it was probably at a time where, where we needed it. Uh, we, we were a bit under the pump and uh, it was nice to do my bit for the team. Usually when a penalty is conceded, there's uh, cries and shouts and protests, but I don't think anyone really knew what was going on there. Did you see the incident or was it explained to you? No, I had no idea really. Like we had uh, obviously a corner, um, boys came in. Um, there's always a, a bit of to and fro both ways in, in corner situations. And next thing I know, the ball was cleared and the, the ref was giving a penalty. So I'm not sure anyone really knew what was going on, but the referee was obviously certain of, of his decision. And, um, and then we just had to turn to, uh, to making the save and, um, and hopefully getting justice. It definitely, we spoke a lot this week about uh, mentality and how last week I think we let ourselves down with our mentality. We made chance after chance after chance and uh, unfortunately in the second half we got frustrated because we, we weren't scoring those chances but we didn't realise such, what such a, such a positive it was to be making them. So we spoke a lot about the mentality of football and how when we get those chances, even if we don't convert them, you know, keep driving, keep driving and uh, luckily today we got the goals early and, um, and then could uh, ride out the game but um, it, was a, it, was a good, um, it was a good turnaround from last week that's for sure.